Howdy folks, I am Ruzgio, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last episode, Nagito gave us a hint as to the location of the bombs. He said that it was somewhere we hadn't been before, and the only place we could think of, other than the ancient ruins, since it was locked behind a password, was uh, Nazumi Castle. Once we got here, there's a big old gaping hole in the front door, so that's pretty ominous. And in this episode, we're going to explore that, and just continue forward to see what happens. Then let's go. After forcing a dry swallow, I nervously stepped through the door. And there... I like the columns. Those are pretty damn big. Really ominous in here. This is not something you would expect to find in a uh, amusement park. What is this place? I thought the inside would look more lighthearted than this. The ambience feels similar to that of a temple or a church. However, is it just me? Or does it seem like there are no bombs to be found here? No, it's not just you. If the bombs are strong enough to blow up the entire island, they should be pretty big. But I don't see anything. I don't see any place where they could be hidden either. Then the bombs aren't here? The bombs aren't here? But even so... I feel like there's something suspicious here. But why? It feels like this place is different somehow. This feeling... It's the same feeling I felt when I first saw the ancient ruin. I won... Hmm. So we kind of got... We kind of got that rotate again. Ooh. Okay, well, I guess we're not looking up at that at, at all. Is there anything up there? Or just... Nope. So we got the plaque on the floor, which I'm not sure what it says. And then we got the stuff on the wall. Spear. It just says spear. Well, gosh, what do I, what do I start? You know, we'll talk our way across. Since we've never been here before, I thought this place was going to be it for sure. Nigga, it'll better not be making stuff up just to mess with us. Hey, it looks like something is written on the floor. The floor? Here, look closely. I will, in a moment. If the bombs are strong enough to blow up the entire island, they should be rather large. However, no matter where we search, we have not found anything like that at all, right? No, we have not. There's no bombs here? Then where the heck are they? Uh, perhaps they're buried under the floor. Maybe? Well, not this floor, because there's no signs of disturbance. Huh. I didn't even... I didn't even read it. I just... Okay. Good enough. Then, where are the bombs? If the door was really blasted open, then there's no doubt that Nigito was here. Yeah, because... Why would Monami or Monokuma blow up the door? Didn't they have access to it? Because, they, yeah, they were talking about, like, the rats and stuff. Biting off their ears. There's a huge Nordic-looking spear on the wall. It looks a little flashy, but... I have a strong feeling that this beer isn't just for decoration. Anyway, it's really strange looking. There's some kind of cord attached to the end of the handle. Oh. Uh... Gosh, I hope that is... Okay. Um, I don't know... Okay, so in the first Danganronpa, Chapter 5 had a, quote, murder? But... It wasn't of anyone we knew at that point in time, of, of, of the roster of characters. So I don't know if the same is going to apply here, like no no one from the roster of characters is going to get offed. I, I, I mean, honestly, I really hope that, because I, there's so few of us. Losing one, even two at this point, would be devastating. Okay, if, if one of those two is Nagito, I'm perfectly okay with it, but anyone else would have to do it, and that does not excite me. This weapon is designed to capture an opponent using the cord as a whip just before you deliver the final blow. So it's like a chain sickle? However, you must be careful. Using a whip as a weapon is quite difficult. You might capture yourself instead of your intended target. And you might also cause an unexpected fan service moment. Uh-huh. What are you talking about? And beautiful fighters who get themselves into immodest situations or in universal demand. Like I said, what are you talking about? Think Makan. Think Makan, Hajime. You'll get the picture. Alright, so what's on the floor, then? 
to all subject. Oh. He was in here. What is this? This font doesn't match the ambience of the castle at all. It's almost like it was intentionally put here. Hey, everyone, come check this out. Hmm. What's that? He found out what the password was. Got into the uh, got into the ancient room and put the bomb in there, and then scratched out the password so no one else could. Good. God. Subjects, who are they talking about? Is it about us? There's more written below that. What does it mean? The password to guide everyone to the future is blank. What the heck is this? We can't even read the most important part. What does password to guide everyone to future even mean? Maybe. It's that password. Could it be the password to access, access the ancient ruin? Guide everyone to the future. Maybe that refers to the Japanese word that is written on the door. As expected of Miss Sonia, she only had to read it once to understand what it means. But if we can't read the password, there's nothing we can do. It is a rather tragic moment. I wonder who erased this? Huh? Erased? It's clearly intentional, people. It's not that complicated. I mean, it doesn't feel like it was erased naturally, right? It looks like it was forcibly scratched off. That's the only way I can see it. But that's still something that Nikito isn't going to give up. He's willing to die for this whole plan of his. But Monomi and Monokuma shouldn't have entered the castle because they don't like mice, right? Then it was Nagito. He's the one who erased the password. <laughs> Nagito probably discovered the password here and used it to enter the ancient ruin. Then he hid the bombs inside the ancient ruin. So he erased the password so we wouldn't be able to get near the bombs. Oh, damn it! That actually makes a lot of sense. And if that's true, he gave us a hint, even though he knew we wouldn't be able to use it. Just so he could... Shove that reality in our faces! There's no way we can enter ancient ruin if we don't know password! In the end, we don't we can't do anything about the bombs unless the traitor comes forward. Did he lure us to this place so we'd be forced to confront that? Forcing us to confront the despair before us. Forcing us to confront how powerless we are. Damn it! That's what Monokuma would do! Hey hey, um. Whoever you are, you don't have to reveal yourself to us. Just tell Nagito. If you don't, you'll just end up dying too, you know? Hey, who are you saying that to? I don't know! I'm just saying it to everyone! Let's stop. Uh, fighting among ourselves won't help anything. More importantly, let's work harder to find the password to that ancient ruin. Or clues that might relate to it. As long as we cooperate and explore all the all over the island, we might be able to find it, you know? Are you telling us to look everywhere for a password that might not even exist? Who would leave a password here in the first place? And why? If it wasn't Monokuma or Monomi, well then who was it? We can't even answer that, so there's no way we'll be able to find anything. Then what would you have us do? Just wait until we all die? That is no different than what we were... than when we were in the funhouse. And what did we learn there? We learned not to give up on living, right? That. Gundam was the only one who said that. Very well, then. I shall look for it on my own. Excuse me. Sonia, hold on. But Sonia ignored me, as I called for her and stormed out of the area. Her shoulders were shaking a little, I'm sure of it. What? What the heck? Aw, oh, damn it! Fine, then! You wanna look for it? Well, fine! Hey! Kazuichi left Nazumi Castle and walked in the opposite direction of Sonya. What the hell are they doing? Now's not the time for infighting! Well, it might be a good idea to work separately. Huh? Why? I mean, it's easier to move around that way, you know? In case someone wanted to secretly go meet someone. Hey, does that mean... Okay, so the problem is the one person the one person who would have to learn the lesson that Gundam gave is the one person who'd have to be willing to sacrifice themselves. I 
But the, but being a traitor, they would be the one person who wouldn't be willing to do that. Oh. Sorry. Just act like I was thinking out loud, and pretend you weren't listening. Not again. Man, we're scattered as usual. Seriously? If you think so, then please help. Yeah, leave it to me. I've got a secret plan. I just have to find the source of the problem and snap it off. Akane, what, what's your secret plan? I have a bad feeling way, uh, about the way Akane's acting. Good lord. That was a hard sentence to read for whatever reason. For whatever reason. I need to go to bed. <laughs> it's, it's not happening anymore. I'll run after her. It's best if we keep Akane away from Nagito for now. Far away. You're right. I guess I'll leave it to you. Okay, see you later. Chiaki ran after Akane, and from there, I was the only one left. What does this really mean? Who are the subjects that are being referred to? What's the password to guide everyone to the future? You can. It almost seems like you could almost make it out, but it, probably not. It's probably just. I, it, it'd be interesting to find out and see if those scratches, scratchings could be made to fit it, but whatever. I was the last to leave Nazumi Castle, and I wandered all over the island searching for clues to the password. But I didn't expect to find anything, and in the end, that's exactly what happened. And so, time passed by with its usual speed. It's nighttime already, huh? Wow. Di the, day went, the day went by fast. Ahem! <coughs> Oh, Speak Academy School Trip Executive, Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Even after the announcement, I kept searching the island, but I didn't find what we were looking for. After a while, I had forgotten what I was supposed to be looking for in the first place. Hmm. In the end, after coming up empty-handed, I returned to the hotel. I didn't see anyone else on my way back here, but I also didn't see them while I was exploring, either. That's because, even though this island is so vast, our, ni our numbers have drastically decreased since we arrived. I can't think of any re other reason than that. I should go back. Right back to the room? Interesting that they would... Interesting that we wouldn't just go right back here, but whatever. Nigito said time runs out at noon tomorrow. Another day is about to end. Which means there's only half a day left. I can't imagine the traitor will be revealed by then, since we don't even know they, if they really exist. And even if they do, it's possible they've forgotten that they're the traitor. All this thinking makes me feel like I should do something, but my brain and body were yearning for rest, probably because of all the walking I did today. As I dozed off, horrible, disgusting images began to surface from the back of my mind, one after the other. But before I could focus on the specifics of those images... Alright, is he going to have another... remembrance moment, I wonder? I slowly sank into the depths of darkness. Be interesting if that were the case. Or not. Maybe we'll just have more Monokuma Theater. I think giving up is really important. If you don't give up on your dreams, they'll come true. That's just irresponsible and lazy encouragement. No matter how much you try without giving up, it's useless in the end. Persistence is just the worst. That's why I'm, that's why giving up is so important. But you can't give up if you don't even try. That's actually the worst of all. Well, that was nice and short and sweet. And here comes morning. Five hours remain. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! It looks like today's gonna be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. The scenery this morning is the same as it ever was. I can see the sunlight peeking through the window. I can hear the faint sound of waves crashing on the beach. But the bombs Nagito set are going to destroy, all, destroy it all, once time runs out at noon. At the moment, there's nothing about our situation that's changing for the better. Usually, I'd go to the restaurant, 
But what should I do today? As long as I remember what Nikito said. Oh, by the way, I'll be waiting here. So if you want to reveal yourself, come see me anytime. Mr. Miss Trader. Sounds like he was planning to hang out at the restaurant all day. Wait a minute. He's going to be there all day? Then, if anyone went to the restaurant like they normally do... The bad feeling lingering in my chest grew with each beat of my frantic heart. I immediately ran out of my cottage. Interesting. Is he is he planning to is he hoping to see someone go into the restaurant? Oh. Half of me wants to say just and half of me says quit it here we're at about time the other half says this is way too nerve-wracking to just let go and move on. What's going on Sonya? Uh, good morning Hajime. Um about yesterday I may have been somewhat careless with my words. I could not keep myself from snapping at what Kazuichi said, and I acted on my own. But thanks to my actions, everyone ended up going their own separate ways, right? Yeah, but what you said wasn't wrong, either. Um, I have not given up yet. I will do my very best until the, to live to the, until the very end. If not, I will not be able to face Gundam, Nekomaru, or the others who have died. That's a... Gray face. Is there anyone? Yeah. Is Chiaki here? Maybe not. Probably not. It's probably empty. Yeah, that's kind of what I suspected. So, what's going on in the restaurant, I wonder? The moment I set foot inside the restaurant, the worst case scenario was unfolding before me. Akane's killing Megiddo. Yep. Yep. Get him! Playtime's over! Now! Where'd you hide the bombs? Oh, that hurts, but I'll never tell. If you really want me to spit it out, you should try torturing me or something. Huh? Torture? Maybe you can stab my fingers with that fork over there, or scoop my eyes out with that spoon. If you're not willing to fill me with despair, there's no hate will ever br- <laughs> Connie suddenly wrapped around Nagito's neck and his face began turning a startling shade of red. That's fine with me! Just die already! Her clenched hands kept squeezing, even tighter. Do it! Do it, Jesus! She was trying to snap his neck instead of just strangling him. What are you doing? Akane! Hey, are you alright? Isn't he seriously going to die? But she was too overcome by rage to acknowledge us. Who? Someone's. Oh, someone slapped Akane, huh? Chiaki? Calm down. Uh, calm down, okay? You wouldn't do something like that, right? You're not the kind of person who would hurt someone. Right? I don't know, she, she looked like she was kind of into it. <sighs> she's gonna say, she's gonna say something about uh, Nekomaru here, isn't she? Just to try to snap her out of it. See? It's alright. Yeah, no problem. Interesting that she would do it. Hmm. Sorry. I'm awake now. Hmm. What was I doing anyway? That's what I want to ask. Don't tell me you were actually thinking about killing him. And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, I saw him slowly stand up. Thank you, Akane. I got to see my dead dog again. I haven't seen him in ages. Serves you right. You probably pissed off Akane in the first place. Mm, I didn't mean to do that, though. Anyway, thank you for saving me. Looks like I owe you one. If you sincerely, if you sincerely mean that, please tell us the password to enter the ancient ruin. The well, password? To that ancient ruin? What are you going to do with that? Don't parade them. You've hidden bomb inside the ruin, right? Oh, yeah, I did. Until yesterday. What? What the heck does that mean? Okay. Now. Now. Now's a good time to go ahead and finish things off. In the next episode, we'll talk with the group and see what exactly he meant by he hid the bombs there yesterday. I 
want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.